hello hello welcome back to my channel first things first if you haven't subscribed to me yet you know what to do so today i am coming to you from bangkok this is something that i've never done before i usually just film in the comforts of my own home but i'm doing something a little bit different um, for this video i am giving you a peek into what i do when i'm abroad and when i'm on a business trip so this time i am in a bangkok for a very quick business trip i'm gonna go and look at a few stores and i'm gonna do some training and then i'm gonna squeeze and stretch my time to squeeze in sorry that didn't make sense but i'm gonna stretch my time to squeeze in some shopping um it's just perfect because it's november so christmas is just around the corner so i'm gonna do a little bit of shopping um a little bit of christmas shopping for my friends but also for myself <laughs> so a i am not going home to manila this year so i have to do all the shopping that i possibly can like for myself here in bangkok because in singapore it's just too expensive so um like i said i'm here on business bangkok is not really a place that i come to for holidays um i know a lot of people from singapore a lot of foreigners they love to come to bangkok for vacation for holidays but um i don't i only come for business and the reason i don't really perceive Bangkok as a holiday destination is because for me it's just too similar to Manila I mean a lot of foreigners they like to come here because of the food um, it's very affordable and shopping is very cheap well I just have to go back to Manila for that the food is good the food is cheap and hello the shopping is really cheap in Manila so I don't need to come here for those reasons um, a lot of foreigners also come to Thailand to visit the beaches that are outside of Bangkok but hello I'm Filipino and we have the best beaches in the Philippines so I don't need to go anywhere else and if we're just talking about quality of the beaches like the sand the water even the hotels the resorts everything is the best in the Philippines but that's a whole other vlog anyway <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna take you through my couple of days here in Bangkok. I'm gonna show you my favorite places to eat and my favorite places to shop. And I will start first of all with a room tour, okay, of where I'm staying at for this visit. So this is my first time to stay here. This is a Sukhumvit area. It's like a business district. It's very, very busy. And there is an train, there's an M MRT, just five minutes walking distance from this hotel. So the hotel that I'm staying at today uh, for this trip is called the Hyatt Regency. I usually stay at the Grand Hyatt. You can get that um, at an affordable price actually on Agoda, but I don't know why, but for this season it was too high for my budget, so I wasn't able to book um, my, my hotel room there, but this was within the budget, so I just booked here. And I'll take you on a little tour around my room. So this is the hallway and I know people don't usually do the hallway but I like the hallway because like the ceilings are super high. I like the quality of the door so it looks kind of nice and bougie and the door is really tall. <laughs> so coming in you get the bathroom right away to your right and you can oops sorry, sorry you can literally walk through the bathroom. That's the bathtub and this is the shower okay this is the sink and here's the toilet so like I said you can literally walk through the bathroom there's a door here that you can close and open <laughs> leads you to the bedroom so the bed I usually ask for a king-size bed and I don't think you can appreciate how big it is um, in this video but it's really really huge I don't have a really nice view. It's just a view of more buildings and like the other hotel's swimming pool, I guess. I got a nice big desk here where I can work. Nice huge ass TV. And then there's a mini bar. Safe, I usually like put my valuables in the safe. Like I'll usually put um, my passport and my iPad if I bring one. Yeah, and that's it basically, nothing much in here and I usually don't get this stuff anyway and that is my room okay let's begin and I just wanted to show you that in front of my hotel there was this really delicious very natural juice being sold and it was so cheap you've got these all over Bangkok and in front of my hotel I found that there was the art box market and well I'll show you that later on when I actually go I also wanted to show you guys how easy it is to take the train here. They call it the BTS. Like for example, I'm going from Planchit to Asok. So you'll see how much it is. In that case, it was like 23 baht, which is very cheap. 
I just have to like um, input 23 there, 23 baht, see how many tickets I'm gonna buy, and then I just plug in all of the coins. So you're gonna have to use coins for this, you can't use paper money, but at the like the ticket office at the MRT stations, you can get your bills changed to coins. So there, the machine is going to spit out the tickets and your change, if any. So there, our single way tickets. You just like put it on the machine for you to go in, and it's very easy to find like where you're going. You just have to look at the signs. It's very similar to Singapore's MRT station well not the stations but like the the way that you navigate through the MRT by the MRT is a little bit similar to Singapore uh, at this time of the day it wasn't quite full at peak hour it can get quite full but never as full as how it gets in Manila never never like that so you see that like here there aren't many people standing but like I said in at during peak hour there are a lot of people standing when you get out you just put the single entry ticket into the machine and it'll eat it up I just wanted to show you guys also here the skywalk which connects many MRT stations BTS stations so if you're staying in the central Bangkok area it's really easy to get around from one major mall to the other because of the skywalk and how connected the BTS stations are so at this point, I was going to Central Embassy. It's one of the bougie malls in Bangkok. Actually, it might be like the most bougie mall in Bangkok. I don't go here to shop for the high-end brands. I don't have budget for that, but I'm going to show you what exactly I do here every time I come. So the mall itself is very, very high-end and I go to my favorite restaurants here. So one of my favorite restaurants in Bangkok is Coffee Beans by Dao. There are several branches around Bangkok. So their menu is a mix of international cuisine as well as Thai cuisine and their cakes are to die for. If you come here, please try the coconut cake. It is so good. I love the design of their menu and their placemats. Just wanted to show you that and my nice window view. This is the food that we ordered. So a lot of shrimp here, fish cakes, and very delicious tom yum soup. Another restaurant that I love to visit here at Central Embassy is Audrey Cafe. Audrey Cafe also serves a mix of international cuisine and Thai cuisine. So you will see the design is very bougie as well, but the price is not bougie, don't worry about that. I love hanging out at this cafe. And here's Audrey, the founder. The food is really good. It is really tasty. And as I said, it doesn't cost you an arm and a leg. So I ordered this Thai omelette and some vegetables with catfish. So it's healthy but still delicious. Another reason I love going to this mall is because at the basement there is this indoor market where they sell original Thai made toiletries and beauty items like soaps, lotions, lip balms, oils, shampoos, soaps. Did I say soaps? But yes. Everything there is super affordable and they're all Thai made. I love how the Thai make their beauty products. They're so innovative and everything is highly natural. These are their coconut products. The Thai people are known for coconut. They have abundant supply of coconuts and they make really good coconut products. This right here is facial scrub soap. So you see how really innovative they are with their beauty products. and. Okay, in case you guys didn't know, I am a huge fan of natural handmade soaps. In fact, I don't ever use regular soaps. I only use handmade soaps. And these soaps, the ones right here that are heart-shaped, are the ones that I buy and stock up on every time I'm in Bangkok. 
Okay, moving on to the next mall. This is Terminal 21, very popular mall for tourists and it was quite near where I stayed for this trip. This is a very stylized mall. You'll see that it's like an airport. They've got departure area, arrival area. Every floor is designed as if you're in a specific city. Like for example, this floor is Tokyo inspired. Prices here of the stuff, the merchandise, is comparable to night market but they've also got boutiques and shops aside from the market style kind of merchandise you'll see here that this floor is designed like you're in London so you're gonna see like red booths you're gonna see like London inspired street signs you're gonna see all sorts of things like the red bus that are inspired by London like this palace guard over here this level is inspired by Istanbul so you're really gonna see that kind of Istanbul festive feeling with all of the lamps so here's why I was at Terminal 21 I always go to this shop even boy when I'm in Thailand so it is like a department store for beauty products. They've got all of the high-end brands like Nike, Estee Lauder, but they've also got the more affordable, simple beauty brands. But what I buy here are my False Lashes by Bokto. Yes, these are the particular kind that I always buy. And I buy my Press On Nails by Dashing Diva. They are just a little bit slightly cheaper than the price here in Singapore. Moving on now to everybody's favorite shopping destination in Bangkok aside from MBK and this is the Platinum Fashion Shopping Mall where you can get all sorts of clothes for a very very good price. This is the first floor where you'll see a lot of women's and these jeans, can I just say, like their jeans have my size and my hips are super huge. So I was very thankful for that. And you can buy like clothes for the office or for casual wear. They also have kids clothes. So this is a level up. And I think this is the second floor. And the second floor is entirely clothes. Okay, so it's all clothes. There are more women's clothes than men's clothes. And you really see like all sorts of designs really nice unique designs as well and like I said it's a very very good price and you can bargain as well the only thing is sometimes they don't allow you to try which really irks me because I'm like okay if you're not gonna let me try I'm not gonna going to buy from you because you know I have to try it on to see how it's gonna look before I buy but yes huge huge assortment on the second floor for clothes on the next level, I think it may be the third or the fourth level, there are all of the leather products, shoes, bags, what have you, belts, and like keychains, other stuff. So in case you guys didn't know, Bangkok or Thailand is really, really good in leather. I mean, like they have really good quality leather. In fact, like the Philippines people who make leather products in the Philippines, they get their leather from Thailand. A lot of them do. Okay, so finally, I am taking you now to Artbox, which is just across my hotel. Very nice. So Artbox is a seasonal night market destination where you can buy a lot of unique stuff, but you can also eat, you can hang out, you can take pictures. It's a very Instagram friendly. It's very hipster. Basically, it's a really nice place to hang out at night. So there's really a picturesque place in every corner. So you can definitely take pictures anywhere. The items, the merchandise that are being sold, as I said, they're quite unique. A lot of them are local Thailand merchandise, of course. There's some clothing, but I don't think like the clothing is what you want to get here. Like for example, me, what I like to look for at night markets are like earrings. Oh god, they're so cheap, but they're very, very cute. All of the earrings that you see me wear on my Instagram, they come from Bangkok. 
and very cheap. Did I say very cheap? So aside from the shopping, you can definitely hang out, listen to live music. The performer wasn't on yet when I was taking this. I think maybe they were just taking a break, but they're live performances like singers and bands. So you can just sit, eat, and listen. Here are some of the spots where you can take pictures, post them on your Instagram, and showing you here like what kind of different food stalls they have. There's like street food. There's also like juice bars like this, which I really, really enjoyed. This was delicious. Yeah, so basically that's the whole art box experience. Okay guys, so that is it for my Bangkok vlog. Of course, if you go to Bangkok, you can also get their infamous massages. Um, that's something I do um, not often, but like sometimes. Um, of course, like as I said, I'm Filipino, so we get pretty good massages also in Manila and very, very affordable massages in Manila. And they can even go to your house, right? They can do home service for a very affordable rate. But yes, Bangkok is famous for their massages, so make sure you get one. A Thai massage when you are here. Make sure to visit some temples also. I've visited a lot in the past. Maybe I can leave some pictures right now um, of places that I visited in the past, and you can go check those out as well. So if you like this video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and follow me on Instagram too. But before I go, of course, there's my fun Filipino word of the day. So my fun Filipino word of the day is la cuacha. It's quite a hard one to say. There's three syllables, la cuacha. <laughs> I think this might have been a Spanish term. It sounds a little bit Spanish, but la cuacha means to uh, go out, to travel, to... Uh, visit places basically to go out and have fun so if you want to go out like go for an outing or if you want to just simply hang out like at any place outside of your house it's called la cuacha you can say la cuacha tayo okay that's the fun filipino word of the day la cuacha and my shout out today goes to miss mona lisa bio or bio but your first name is Mona Lisa, I'm sure of that. I just wanted to say thank you for being a loyal follower of mine on Instagram. So I hope you're having a great day too and I hope you like this video. If you want a shout out guys, you know what to do. Be active on all of my social media accounts and let me know as well through a personal message if you want a shout out. Again, thanks for watching. I hope to see you soon next time. Love you. Bye. Me and John, me and John.